Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw Client here, back again this week with another episode of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Online Battles. And for this week, as you guys can see, I've decided to pick, pick up Team Beasts again. I mean, come on, I couldn't leave these guys out, could I? So uh, yeah, we've got a combination of King and Ogre here. And uh, I'm also up against Armor King, like, seriously, what is this guy doing? Where's the armor? What are you on about, Armored King? I think, you know, I, I think I'm the real Armored King right now. I mean, I'm King, I've got armor. What more do I need? But, um, anyway, so for today I wanted to be talking a bit about Tekken 7. Well, I wanted to continue with the discussion that I was having last week of Tekken 7. And, to be honest, I would like to talk a bit about Tekken Cross Street Fighter, but, in all honesty, like, there's been next to no information released, apart from the bit of information that I discussed last week, uh, or the week before, I can't remember, but, pretty much when I was saying that Tekken Cross Street Fighter will be on hold until Tekken 7 is, is uh, completely finished. Uh, yeah, spoilers alert for guys that didn't know that, but, um, Anyway, yeah, um, Tekken Cross Street Fighter won't be uh, won't be worked on until Tekken 7 is completely finished. But again, I guess that's sort of good in a way because we know that the project is still happening. I mean, for me, that was definitely like my biggest thing that I was looking forward to. You know, maybe even more so than Tekken 7. But I digress. But anyway, so for Tekken 7, there hasn't really been too much information. I mean, my last video, like what two weeks ago, and. Again, even in between that time, there hasn't been too much information, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, use up the 15 minutes of matches. Well, is there like 15? Well, just over 14 minutes of matches we have for, um, in today's video. But again, there's not really too much to discuss, so I'll try my best to uh, cover as much as possible, or I mean, let it take up all the time possible in the video. But anyway, so so far, the information released is that Tekken 7 will be featuring quite a few guest artists and. These are like pretty much a few artists from a range of different games, like they've worked on different games and animes and stuff. And uh, some of these include Mary Shim Shimazaki, who worked on the de design of Bayonetta, uh, Yusuke Yuzaki from Fire Emblem Awakening, yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening, alongside No More Heroes, uh, Ninin, who worked on Duel Masters and Card Fight Vanguard, and Kenshiro, or Kenichiro. Yoshimura, who worked on Max Anarchy, and I apologise if I butchered any of the names there. <laughs> yeah, my my sorry guys, my my puny English tongue doesn't quite allow me to pronounce it properly. But um, anyway, no, I mean that's a really really nice uh, thing to hear. I mean, usually I'm just like I usually just want to see stuff like gameplay and stuff like that. But you know, knowing about the costumes and that, it's not too bad. It's quite a nice feature. And there's also uh, Lars who. They released a bit of his concept art. I mean, he looks the same for the most part, but he had a few like a few minor changes to his armor. So, yeah, there we go. Confirmation that Lars is in the game. You know, Lars fans, um, you know, you can be celebrating with your champagne, your bottle of wine, and everything. Go ahead, enjoy the day. But um, no, I mean, I wasn't such a huge fan of Lars. I tried him out sometimes, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, now I also wanted to talk a bit about the uh, voice actors now. Harada announced on his Twitter that the Japanese voice actors will all be the same. However, he stated that others will probably be the same. So, others such as, well, he stated that some, he believes some may possibly quit alongside some that may possibly change their contract. So, again, it's not 100% sure, he's just saying probably, but again, for the English voice actors, like, if your character, if your character has a new voice in Tekken 7, just don't be too surprised because I guess Harada he did give us some warning that you know the the voices may change. So uh, yeah, I mean, for me by far the you know the voice that if if um, King's voice was changed for me, oh my, I just couldn't take it anymore. I mean those growls. Not any voice actor can do that, mate. Not 
any voice actor can do those growls, guys. But um, no, on a serious note, if your favourite character has like a different voice, then again, like I said, just don't be too surprised because Harada did uh, give us some warning. But anyway, apart from that, I don't really have too much information today. Um, again, like I was saying with the PC version, it wasn't 100% confirmed, though. at least I believe it wasn't 100% confirmed that there will be a PC version, but again, like I was saying with the Unreal Engine 4, uh, there is a huge chance, I mean, PC definitely can handle that type of engine. Um, Tekken 7 is for three, um, Xbox One and PS4, that is 100% confirmed, and again, like I was saying, probably PC. Now, another bit of information that was released to uh, back up the, the fact that it will be on PC is like, pretty much that Amazon, I believe they put up a PC version of Tekken 7 for pre-order at one point, but uh, they did like correct it, so they, they took it back down, but again, that might be some indication that Tekken 7 will be coming to the PC, and like I said previously, that would be like the very first entry on the, what, e very first entry in the Tekken series to be on PC, so again, they'll be opening up Tekken to like a, a brand new fan base. I mean, it's really hard to imagine that. I mean, all these Tekken games, and I, didn't, I wasn't even aware of that until the other day when I looked it up, like, seriously, such a big franchise like Tekken, not even available on PC. <laughs> that was uh, hard to believe. Plus, Tekken is still a bestseller as well, I mean, and you have other fighting games, um, you know, other fighting games out there that are for also for the PC as well, so yeah, it's just quite hard to believe, but anyway, that's how it goes, and again, all we can do is hope that there will be a PC release, well, for the PC players anyway, but like I was saying, not really too much to talk about today, I don't have any more um, information, any more official pieces of information, so on that note, I'd like to say, what type of characters would you guys like to see? I mean, I know I did sort of uh, give this question last week, but again, I'd still be quite interested in seeing what type of characters you guys would like to see. I'm sure on Harada's Twitter, um, a person commented, said something like, oh, um, have you have you thought about putting an Indian female fighter in? And uh, Harada responded by saying that, yes, he considered it at one point. So, again, maybe that's a, a sign that there might be a female Indian fighter in the next, you know, in Tekken 7, who knows? Or even Tekken Cross Street Fighter. I don't know. On, in, on the um, topic of Tekken Cross Street Fighter, like, would you guys like to see like all characters that you've seen before, sort of like what they did in uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, where all of the characters from both of the uh, both sides of the cast were pretty much like characters that you've seen before. I mean, I know in PS3 they had a few a few unique characters like Pac-Man in a, a Mokujin a mech, which was yeah, that was a bit strange. I didn't see that coming. Of course, they had bad box art Mega Man as well, and um, I believe PS3 was it PS3? Yeah, PS3 also had the cats as well. So um, yeah, quite a few strange additions. But again, none of the characters were brand new. So uh, would you guys like to see like brand new characters, all, all brand new characters, or pretty much just returning characters from the cast? Like I know a lot of people uh, like their biggest like they get most excited for like seeing how characters interact with other characters from other universes and maybe people wouldn't get care less if it was like a brand new character from either of the franchises, who knows, but again, I wouldn't mind seeing some new characters, but I do get the feeling that it's going to be predominantly uh, old characters because as I said before, people like to see mostly how the old cast reacts with, with like some of the old cast of Street Fighter as well, so again, no idea what will happen, but it will be nice seeing a few new characters here and there. Here and there. <laughs> but Again, like I was saying, I believe I also confirmed in last week's video, uh, Harada did state that Tekken 7 will not feature tag team mode, mostly because he prefers it to be, you know, more beginner friendly than than others in the series. He doesn't really consider tag two or tag one like very beginner friendly. And to be honest, it, it makes sense because the whole you know, two characters at the same time, you have to deal with two different move sets, and of course, linking into other attacks and stuff like that. And it can be really confusing for first time players so again I, I really did like the tag system but you know most Tekken games haven't had the tag system and it is a traditional Tekken fighter so yeah I know it's completely justified alongside the fact that he didn't announce that the cast size will be heavily reduced as well because it's also something that can like scare newer players as well so yeah just don't expect just don't expect some like if your if your favorite character doesn't make it, like a favorite character that's only appeared in Tag 2, 
or very few appearances whatsoever. I mean, Dr. Boskonovich, you know, speak of the devil, there he is right now, but am I expecting him to come back in Tekken 7? Eh, not really, not very likely, because it's not a major character to the plot. So, again, I think we're only going to see characters that are, or that play a huge role and are like, vital for the <clears throat> main story mode. Of course, I think some other characters like uh, Bob will make an appearance just because you know, he's, he's really popular. He is a stable character in the series now. No Bob, no Tekken, let's be honest, guys. But, um, no, on a serious note, I'm uh, pretty sure that a lot of characters will be cut because he said that, that a lot of people find it quite scary to see them, but I don't know if I previous me previously mentioned this, but clone characters like Sebastian, uh, I wouldn't be too upset. I mean, Lily's there, so again, <laughs> I'm sure it would satisfy most Lily players' needs not to see Sebastian there, but I digress. So anyway, um, on my final match now, up against the Yoshimitsu, and as you saw in my previous videos, and even the first two matches today, I've mostly been doing like tag team, tag team combos. So I thought, you know, why not just switch it up a bit, use a single character? And that's the thing as well. Like a lot of people thought that a single character was just way too overpowered because the thing about when you have two individual characters is that once their health gets, once a character's health gets to a certain point, uh, it will activate rage mode, and of course, rage mode will allow you to do more damage and everything. And the thing about being on your own is that when when rage mode activates like you don't need to switch out to characters you know there's no risk of unsafe switches or anything because it just activates straight away for the character so and I, I remember when this game first came out a lot of people were saying oh god that's crazy that's overpowered um you know it's just it's just too much guys they're like nerf it please please nerf it but no um, as the game went on I think a lot of people found strategies to you know to counter that sort of stuff so yeah, not too bad, but it is also worth noting that the single player also has a bit more health alongside a bit more power as well, you know, sort of to, to even out the whole, you know, two versus one thing, so... Again, I think it's quite a nice system, not too overpowered, and all around quite good. But as you guys can see, Bob here up against, well, Slim Bob up against Yoshimitsu and Wang, like, seriously, this guy, he was, he was quite tough, he was had a really you know, really strong defensive game, but as you saw in the first round, I managed to punish him quite a lot with grabs because he was just you know blocking all day all like all day 24/7. Oh, and speak of the devil, I managed to get him a throw on Wang again there. But anyway, so like I was saying with Slim Bob, I mean Slim Bob and Bob really similar characters. Again, I don't really expect both Bobs to appear again in in Tekken 7. I mean, of course Bob 7. Sorry, did I just say Bob 7? Well, I meant uh, Bob, the bigger Bob, or the fat Bob. He he is you know, the more iconic character. He appeared, he made his appearance in Tekken 6 as the fat Bob, and of course, he's like, the whole thing surrounding his character is the fact that he's such a huge character with impossibly fast speed. So, again, I don't really think we'll see Slim Bob. Maybe as an alternate, like, alternate costume type thing. Again, I, I could see it working because the character's, you know, the moveset is next to identical, I mean there are a few changes as well like when you do uh, Bob's uh, forward forward up or towards the opponent up uh, one two then he does like if, if you do it twice in a row then he will fall back on the second hit alongside his uh, flying cask move which you know you can usually combo off it with Big Bob but with Slim Bob he can't combo off that because it's just not powerful enough but again it's you know I don't mind playing as him he's, I think he's got a bit more speed, I'm not 100% sure, please don't quote me on that guys, but again, Slim Bob's quite a fun character to play as, you know, plus his DLC, you can't go wrong with DLC, can you? <laughs> but anyway, on the topic of DLC, uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, now I remember Harada actually stated at one point, like, when when Tekken, sorry, when Street Fighter Cross Tekken released uh, the DLC characters and there was a huge uproar, I remember Harada stating that for Tekken Cross Street Fighter, he wouldn't do that because, you know, he sort of considers... Like he sort of considers extra characters like, you know, he considers it like chess, you know, they're the, they're the pieces to complete the chess match sort of thing. So, yeah, I have a strong feeling that he's against the whole idea of DLC characters. But, anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm actually quite surprised I managed to keep talking for like a whole, what, nearly 15 minutes now? Pfft, Jesus, with such little Tekken 7 information available. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And also, if you guys want to shout out, just leave a like, subscribe and also a comment below what you thought of the video, what you think could be improved. And 
again i do like to leave shout outs for you, for other guys so just t check the description for the channel that i've decided to shout out today and on that note i'll see you guys later peace out